Yo, what is good up guys? It's your boy K. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks when it comes to debugging your projects and fixing these compiler issues and running into these weird bugs that you may or may not understand. So I'm going to compile my project here. I'm not going to do anything other than just compile it. And you're going to see an error that you've probably seen before. It's a little cryptic, but it doesn't give us any information. It's talking about this uh, make might make file targets 44 and 5 ms b3073 you can search this to the ends of the earth on google you will not find the solution for how to actually solve this issue in the project now here's the tip if you come over here to where it says open the log file this log file will actually possess the information that you need so if you just scroll down here and you see where you got the red this is the actual error that's making the uh the engine not compile but this is the message that you need to pay attention to it says that it's unable to find the plugin the rl plugin and it's referenced in the project genesis.u project file is telling me to install and try it again or remove it from the required plugins list here's another tip i don't know if you guys know this uh, a lot of people say that you need to go to the u project files location on disk which is here and here right click this and you can say open with notepad to get it as a text editor you can actually use a visual studio code as well but what you also can do inside of writer and i'm not sure if this is available in visual studio so go ahead and test that out for me but inside of writer you can actually open up the u project file inside of writer and it opens up as a text editor here where you can delete and add plugins so as the error log said, I need to either install it and try it again or remove it. And to remove a plugin from the plugin list, which is all of these different plugins here, you just, you know, highlight and delete it. And there you go. Or you can set it enabled to false. But the thing is, if it's searching for it and it doesn't exist and it's enabled false, I think it will still uh, call that error up so here we're going to recompile after removing that and you see uh your boy your boy will go ahead and uh, compile this puppy with no issues you dig what i'm saying baby you feel me and and that's uh this week's episode of tips and tricks with unreal Engine. no i'm playing <laughs> no i know it's been a minute since i've done a video uh your boy been working man shit that's how that's just how it is man some of this stuff is learning some of this stuff is doing but uh, yeah, if you found this helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the boy's channel. You dig what I'm saying? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.